Happy Thursday, Elizabeth Ide. Boys and girls, I hope you're having a great morning. Today is Thursday, April 30th, and you're probably like, where are you, Mr. Rhodes? Well, I'm in my garage, boys and girls, and today, if you're following the ABC countdown, yesterday was A for Artist Day, and oh my goodness, you guys are quite the artists. So thank you for sending some of your artwork on Facebook, and I know your teachers were very thankful too, because some of you sent it through Seesaw to them. So nice job, way to go. But today is B, and if you're following your schedule here, it is build it day. So that's what Mr. Rhodes is doing. I'm in my garage. Mrs. Rhodes bought a new table and picnic set for our deck in the backyard. And she said, get out there in that garage and start building it. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm just about done, but it should be, it should be wonderful. And that's why I want to challenge you guys today on our ABC countdown. Anywhere you're at in your house, find something, build something. Maybe it's a fort, maybe it's something out of Legos. Who knows, but be creative, build it, all right? Can you do it? Yes, you can. So let's go to Mr. Rhodes' front porch and let's do our morning announcement. I'm gonna pick up the laptop, it's gonna be a little bit shaky, but here we go, let's do this. All right, cool boys and girls, today it's a little windy, a little overcast. Finn's around here somewhere. Finn, where are you? Oh, he's right by the flag. Look at, here he is. All right, I'm gonna set the laptop down on the table here. And let's stand up, boys and girls, for the morning pledge. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, woo, it's windy out here, boys and girls. All right, so today, B, build it. You can do it, I wanna see it. Hit the Facebook uh, pages up with some of your pictures. All right, send those. Let's see how creative your, our lines can be. We do have one birthday on this Thursday, April 30th, and it goes out to first grader, Chloe Rakina. So happy birthday, Chloe. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Make it great. And you know what, boys and girls, for our ABC countdown, I'll come back and do an announcement tomorrow, and I'll save our birthdays for Friday, which is a new month. Tomorrow will be a new month, the month of May. So I'll say our birthdays um, for tomorrow and over the weekend at that time. So with it, I also want to tell you, boys and girls, that Mrs. Hendren, our library specialist, you guys know Mrs. Hendren, she also told me that today is a special day called Poem in Your Pocket Day. Did you know that? Yes, poem in your pocket. So if you can, Mrs. Hendren said, Mr. Rhodes, please, on the announcements today, say to our, our, our lions that today is poem in your pocket day and tell them that long, long time ago, what people used to do is they would carry a poem in their pocket and to brighten the day for anyone, family, friends, whoever, they would take out their poem and read it to somebody. And in return, kind of like bucket filling, it would make the person feel good. It would brighten their day. So boys and girls, if you have a poem, or maybe you can go and find one today, find a poem, and we challenge you also to read it to a family member or a friend. Give somebody a call, maybe do a virtual uh, meeting like I'm doing right now, and read a poem to somebody. All right, so we have Build It Day, we have Poem In Your Pocket Day. And have a wonderful Thursday, everybody. From Mr. Rhodes' home with my dog, Finn. We'll see you all later. Bye, everybody.